Dave, congratulations. They made you work for it though today, Grimsley. They, they did, um, and credit to them for that. We gave them the opportunity to yeah. make us work for it because we started the game unbelievably well. Um, and with the opportunities that we create in the first half, the game should be yeah. the game should be done. Um, and even if it's not done, we need to get to a position where we have more control um, and the game not looking like a basketball game, even when we're we're, we're two 0 up in a winning position. Having said that, um, if you can win a game like that, it suggests you're in a good place because having shown a bit of swagger in the first half, it was a different quality in the second half, a bit of character, a bit of grit and a bit of determination. And you must take some credit as well for a tactical switch around the hour mark. Yeah, we, we, were, we, were, we, were, we were causing our own problems because mm -hmm. um, in fairness to, to them, um, they've been a certain shape all season. Yeah. We thought they would change a little bit and Paul's gone back to, I suppose, a a type of performance that got them success last year in terms of mm. midfield runners, in terms of counter-press, in terms of being robust, if you like, defensively and, and reliant on um, the ball being played forward and, 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 and picking up second balls and playing from there. And, and listen, that, that's one of our one of our big strengths and um, was one of our big strengths in terms of winning the National League, in terms of how we went about it. So that's difficult, we know that's difficult to, to deal with. We didn't deal with, with that well enough. Um, and then you, f you feel them with the runs that they're making, we have a choice, we either go man for man and we'll ask the track Clifton all the way back in, or we flip it to a, a three and drop Odin in it, in it, a little bit lopsided really, just in case yeah. in possession or out of possession, deal with their wing back and, and in possession go and affect the game. Odin struggled with that a little bit, so we, we obviously made the, made the change and brought Miles, Miles in there. Um, it, it just allowed us to give us a, a foothold back in the game because at, at two nil, we're absolutely in control. At two two, we're far from in control, um, and you have to wrestle that momentum back a little bit. I thought we did, um, and although I don't in any way, shape, or form think we were on top, and the, the game sort of got back into a controllable, a controllable fashion, and we got a, a goal, it, it then becomes sometimes you need to look at it and go. We just need to get over the line here and see this through, and um, and we did that much better in the last sort of 10, 15, 20 minutes um, than we had done at the previous part of the half. I've often heard you say that football is about moments, and there was a strange moment I think in the in the first half, as you say, firmly in control, two 0 You've had a great chance to make it three, but missed that one, and then the penalty. Why did the penalty take a change? Um, honest answer is I don't know, um, but I certainly wasn't happy about it and told them at half time that. I, Paul spoke Paul, uh, about Grimsby last week and uh, missing a chance and it being like a, a mood killer, yeah. um, a, a sort of energy drainer. That's yeah. what it. That's what it was. And that, it only becomes that because they make a decision to change the penalty taker. Whether Tanto initiates it in terms of asking Louis, I, listen, I, I've, I get why they might do it. I, I sort of half get it to a certain degree, but it's not for me. I, I, when we sat here or stood here. A year ago, and you was asked the same question around Will Collar in, a, in an FA Cup game. Now, Paddy's argument would be given Will the ball might be that it's for an FA Cup hat trick. Get that the game's two one. If Will misses the penalty, and we've got a penalty taker that um, is accustomed and used to pe taking penalties all the time, and you go and lose the game, well, that's a problem. It's a problem for the football club because the prize money might be massive. There's, there's loads of different things that come. So just don't do it. When you miss penalties, the potentially will always be momentum shifts and there might be a stoppage in that. When you've made a, a conscious decision to for somebody else to take the penalty, it's only enhanced in terms of what that do. When you when you compound that then with conceding a poor goal just before half time to put them back in the game, it's further compounded. And when I go in at half time, no one's saying a word. I know exactly why no one's saying a word because it just looks totally unprofessional and there'll be regret within that and they put pressure on themselves and nearly nearly bow to that pressure to be fair because you haven't been tuning up to be in the game 2-2 and looking like the game's going away from you. The, the big credit comes in, like I say, the fact that they managed to wrestle that momentum back, get some stability and, and go on and get a, listen, a scrappy, rubbish goal, but mm. we'll absolutely take it. Uh, I mean, we probably shouldn't dwell on it, but. Uh, when something like that happens, can you influence it from the touchline? Say what what you're doing, why you doing? No, it's that? different. Listen, I'll I'll take I'll I'll take responsibility for it absolutely because 
and, and maybe we, we've not made it clear enough. We <coughs> we will have um, set pieces and certain people will take corners and certain people take three kicks and certain people will take throw-ins and it'll be maybe different from each side. Mm. But in penalties, if Paddy's on the pitch, Paddy takes penalties. We've got lots of people that will take penalties. We looked at, we'll look at it and I would ask the question, why did Louis Barry take the first penalty? Well, Louis Barry took the first penalty because he took our last one and scored. So why then did that change 15 minutes later or 20 minutes later, whatever it was? It shouldn't have. Louis takes the penalty. Um, and if he scores it, brilliant. The game's 3-0 and you're in real control. If he misses it, then he misses it. Um, but at least, you, at least you move on. We then make a decision if somebody else wants to put themselves forward in terms of taking penalties, then come and speak to us. A lot of them will put themselves forward and we'll make a decision around who it, who it doesn't. Now, whether that wasn't clear, um, then like I say, I'll, I'll, I'll take the take right. I understand why the centre forwards that. If I'm, if I'm a centre off, I don't want to take a penalty, but if I'm any of our forward players and I'm Sauce and I'm Will Collar and I'm Miles and I'm Odin, I'm like, let me take it, let me take it, that, 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 because they'll back themselves technically to, to score, I get that, but ultimately it's not about individuals, it's about us winning three points as comfortably as possible, and in my eyes, our unease in the second half is made by that, yeah. that and decision. And the fans as well, yeah, moved that, around that, the ground. That, that decision, because listen, we're, we're, we're early in the season, but the season can be decided at any point, and reflection and hindsight mm. you will absolutely kill you kick yourself um if you look back on something and have, have regret and if we have no regret listen you look i think there'll always be some but if you have no regret mm. then you're not in a bad place but like taking you off throw-ins wouldn't it just would never happen. yeah it'd be crazy <laughs> listen let's not dwell on it you've got the result anyway and it's a lesson learned perhaps and you can take that forward into tuesday i mean what a game now in prospect it's Top against third, they're the top scorers, I think, in, in League Two at the moment. Cheshire Derby, under the floodlights, Crestia Rose. It's a mouth-watering clash, one that all the fans here are looking forward to, and that's why we're in this division now, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a big game, a uh, big game between two teams in, in, in a good place. So, um, from from where they were last year, um, they've had obviously a change. Belly's gone in and done a really, really yeah. good job, and they're on a, they're on a good run. Um, but, like you say, Mouthwatering. We're absolutely travelling our numbers. It was it was brilliant to go there last year and have the side and behind the goal. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm sure if we're given that many seats again, we'll 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 fill that. So brilliant atmosphere and a, a, a great opportunity for both teams to um, to to I suppose get bragging rights over like I say what for, for us is a, a localish uh, a localish derby. Um, but from our perspective, we. we, we with eight now on the on the run in the in the league, it's a it's a brilliant achievement, and we want to do everything we can to try and make that nine on on Tuesday night. We know it'll be tough, um, but you have to embrace the challenges in front of you, and we're really looking forward to it. We wish you well. Top of the league still, eight league wins in a row. Well done. Cheers, John. Thank Cheers. you.